we fix it to make this town real smoky. The question is, should Tekken 8 reveal DLC characters all at once, like Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat just revealed their whole season two at once. People are hating on it. The idea behind it is, one, your characters can't leak. Two, everyone knows what they're paying for. The good outcome of revealing all of your characters at the same time is Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat revealed all their characters at once and everyone was like, who is this garbage character here, Conan? Who's this garbage character here, T-1000? I'm just telling you what, what Twitter said. This is their reaction. Why are these two characters female? Noob Cybots fire, Ghostface is fire. That's what everyone said on Twitter. If Tekken, revealed all of their characters at once one of these two outcomes is reality in my opinion it's in the company's best interest to not tell us because if it's disappointing you will still have people's hopes and expectations high but on the flip side of it all at once is astronomically better for the consumer and this is what i think tekken 7 should do or tekken 8 should do i don't care about the reveals being exciting the reveals being a surprise mysterious that comes second to knowing what you're paying for these characters are horrible in terms of usage they are absolutely atrocious why do you guys do that why do you guys request something and then and then when it happens you just don't like you don't care anymore all those scrubs i just named i would get them out of there i would put armor king anna hayachi miguel bob and julia that's it as it one you don't have to resell enough dlc two you don't have these absolute trash characters in the game and then three when you do dlc you could do cool stuff you could you could possibly do an ogre you could possibly do a roger you could do some of this more creative ideas because you don't have you're not i don't know why tekken does that i don't know why tekken does this like let's get all this trash in the game and then we're gonna go on twitter and say oh well we can't do a large roster because look at this we can't do a large roster with all all these gimmick characters because we got to focus on the fan favorites these characters ain't fan favorites bro claudio zafina panda because if you ask me those are the gimmicks good thing you guys have harada on but also too it kind of seems like harada started to like change this was uh four days ago three days ago harada responded let's make it happen the final character for season four the player base is asking so much for the same like five six seven things and you could tell that harada is like kind of over it where in the past he would have said something like funny or something now he is saying first they should announce virtual fighter 6 then we can talk and i think that is so important and tekken fans around the world really should understand that your request bro is all over the place why are you guys like this <laughs> you guys request the most boring unoriginal things i ever seen on the planet you go from characters like raven and jun kazama then when you talk about guest characters you guys start talking about bloody roar bro why are you guys like this who thinks bloody roar is a good game bro you have to understand that you were a child when those games came out and that's pure nostalgia bro those games don't exist today for a reason bro no one even know what this game is i'm tired of this bro i'm tired of you guys talking about this game bro no one wants bloody roar no one you were like four years old when that game came out bro stop please don't talk about bloody roar don't talk about oh how the, the the animals could turn into the heat system and it was a match made in heaven no it's not no no that is a lazarus pit the abyss that is the darkest depths of an idea i ever heard of tell if you guys like bloody roar so much why did the franchise die if all of these games you guys say or are, are fire where are they you guys be naming all of this like stuff from like three decades ago you got to go back to the sega the dreamcast what is wrong with tekken fans what now okay separation separation bloody roar trash virtual fighter is cool but i agree with radasan if you tekken fans like virtual fighter and if the game is so fire why is it like on the brink of death and you guys get mad at me when i say it but it's true bro like if this game was so dope it would be 
dope right now. These games are not a part of the discussion at all, yet you want Tekken 8 to like resurrect them. It's not Tekken's job to resurrect these other games. I don't care if they're 3D or not. I want characters that's fire. I don't want to play resurrecting Frankenstein some garb like nah bro I don't I don't like that bro I don't like that you guys want these characters that's from a dead franchise nah bro they need to do their own job of resurrecting their game because you could say the same thing about Tekken Tekken had its like weird moment where the franchise almost died yes people don't like to like people try to act like it ain't happened but the numbers don't lie bro tag two look at it the lowest in terms of sales it almost killed the franchise but tekken they didn't ask street fighter for guest characters they didn't go do this they they made tekken 7 they learned from their mistakes and they made tekken great again no guest characters no handouts simple hard work and learning from your mistakes all of those other games need to go do that same thing bro get out of here with tekken is supposed to resurrect these games just because they're 3d nah the only one you can say that for and it really sticks is soul caliber because that's tech that's bandai namco 2 right that's harada 2 right okay you could say that for soul caliber but all of that other stuff bro nah i want guest characters that's fire i don't want guest characters that's like oh we got a duty to resurrect no we don't i'm not playing tekken because i want to resurrect some other games that i'm not playing you don't see call of duty players like we need to put a battlefield crossover because battlefield's in a really bad place but fighting game players like that's like mandatory nah bro y'all be y'all be killing me with that bro y'all be killing me bro y'all need to stop yeah i see someone in the chat spamming dark souls cross tech it that's what i'm talking about bro give us some dark souls some elden ring give us something that's fire you can even make virtual fighter 6 on a on a small budget change your game for the next generation right even though fighting game players don't like that, you got to. Tag 2 was for the hardcore player base, and look at the sales. People get mad at Tekken 7 and Tekken 8 for being casual. That 11.8 million casual audience is greater than Tekken has ever experienced. And all of those other fighting games need to go do that as well. Throw in some modern controls, throw in some scrub mechanics, throw in some rage arts. And underneath the surface, like Street Fighter 6 does, underneath the surface, you can have that really cool, interesting gameplay. You can have that classic style. You said they need to appeal to the next generation. I do think so. I, I definitely think they need to appeal to the next generation. And that doesn't mean not appealing to the current or the previous generation. You can do both. And the great media does. You guys ever heard of a movie where it's for kids, but there's jokes in there for the adults? There's jokes in there where like you're a parent or whatever. You'll, you'll be like, oh, what? They just said that? I get that. The kid has no clue. The kid is just sitting there eating popcorn, snot coming down. It has no clue. But you're like, oh, okay. All right. That's the whole, like, yes, you can make something for a child and also be for an adult. The greatest movies and stuff of all time did that. Why is this a foreign concept to tech fans? When you're a child and you find like something cool, you love it forever, right? Like that childhood nostalgia feeling is very powerful. I mean, that's look at you guys, right? You guys are over here requesting like stuff that's from your childhood you're requesting stuff from your childhood because you're ch like it was special to you is harada wrong for saying that he wants to capture that again you just have to understand something that i understood uh very early on one nothing's last forever and then two just appreciate it while it's here right eventually tekken will grow into something we don't recognize and it kind of already uh has for for a lot of people and uh that's why i just enjoyed even though I showed up in Tag 2, Tekken 6, Tekken 7, that's why I enjoyed it, right? Enjoy what you enjoy, because it's not going to last forever. That Your favorite bowl of ice cream in 10 years may not taste the same. So every spoon you, you take, you know, 